No one wants noise in their video, but sometimes it happens. You bump up your ISO in camera and you get those little flecks, the little speckles that happen to show up in your image. Let me show you two ways that you can go about fixing it. So the first way is a free way not that kind of freeway, a free space way. The second way is a plug-in, so it's a paid way, but it works a lot better than Final Cut's native noise reduction. And I wanna point out this is not sponsored in any way. I just wanna give you guys options. So if you want a free option that doesn't look that good, but still works, or a better, more professional looking option, you can see that in this video. So the freeway is just using Final Cut's built-in noise reduction tool. So you go to your effects browser, type in noise, and then double click noise reduction to apply it to your clip. So if we turn this off and on, this is before and this is after. We may need to render this clip just by selecting it and hitting Control R. It's a very useful keyboard shortcut to know in case you wanna render just a section of your timeline so it plays back smoothly or perhaps just one clip, just select it and hit Control R. But notice how still quite noisy. We could try bumping it up, maybe going to maximum, and that does a little bit better, but notice how our shot is breaking apart. We don't have that smooth gradation in colors anymore. So then you might think, well, just go to sharpness and then change this maybe to very high. And honestly, that kind of makes it a little worse. It's definitely better than it was before, but still not great. So let me show you neat video. So just hold the option to drag up. We'll delete this effect and the plugin is called Neat Video. So it's already up because we typed in noise. And funny thing about this plugin, it's actually the plugin that I think I've had the longest in Final Cut out of all of my plugins. I've had it for over 10 plus years. So it's as simple as just hitting options window and basically a pop-up window will pop up. All you do is select an area in your shot that is uniform, that doesn't have change in texture and color and light. So something right about here works pretty well. And all you do is hit build profile. I know this UI looks kind of confusing. It's very simple to use. Select an area, build profile, file, build profile, and then hit apply. And then once that is applied, look at this difference. So if I turn this off, here's before, Here's after, and just notice how it, it's a much smoother gradation compared to the built-in noise reduction. So as I show more example shots, I'll just mention that Final Cut's noise reduction will sometimes work out if there's not a lot of movement in the shot, but once things start moving, it doesn't look nearly as good as Neat Videos. Neat Video has saved me quite a few times in the past, especially when I shot with the GH5, which is notoriously bad in low light. Also something I wanna point out is if you go to adjust and preview, you also have the option to deflicker your footage. So if you're say a US citizen, you're traveling to a country that uses PAL and you shoot in slow motion, so you get that flicker from different lights in your setting, you can use this to remove that flicker. So that's pretty dang nice. So if you do need to remove video noise badly, this is a plugin that I've been using for a decade and uh, and I really like it, I think it works really well. Not the greatest segue, but if you wanna learn how to use the magnetic mask in three different ways, as well as how to color grade with it, you can click this video right here, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.